think about this. Back in 1945, you woke up to the Sunday paper, and there it was, the picture of the Iwo Jima flag being raised. You looked at the front page. It was a war-weary, who's got a cell phone on? Oh, jeez, forgot to. I got to take this one. Hold on just a second. It's Washington. Yes, I can hold for the Commandant. Yes, General Neller. You checked out our new website today and you saw the presentation was... No, it didn't go yet. It's just starting now. Well, you're on the East Coast. There's a three-hour difference. Yeah. Well, you, oh, we got a great turnout. Yes. Yes, sir. The Commandant says, thank all of you for coming. <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I, I was here. Yeah, yeah. We do have copies of, extra copies of your picture. <laughs> 25 more copies for your mother. I got it. It'll be in the mail tomorrow. It's about 9.30 or 10 o'clock, and my phone rings again. It was General Neller. And I said, well, sir, I called you back a little while ago. He said, yeah. I was busy. I was watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> so there, there, that got my start. He said, here's the deal. We think we've got an issue with a flag raising on Iwo Jima. And we think we've misidentified some people. So we're going to convene another board. There was one in 1947. And we think this one might be a little controversial. And you're bulletproof. So why don't you go ahead and take it? So, I really didn't have much of a choice, so we put together a panel of 10 of us, and we convened what's now known as the Hewley Board. I didn't name it. That's the way they get named. And we looked at this. Now think about this. 73 years ago, you woke up Sunday morning. You knew there was a battle going on. It was raging. The nation was war-weary. This is 1945, and it had been a long stretch for them. Casualties were mounting. Things were going on. And all of a sudden, that iconic photo comes across your front page of every major newspaper in the United States. It spawned a war loan drive. It spawned a stamp that was the best-selling stamp, the first stamp that ever depicted living members, and the best-selling stamp until the Elvis stamp came out. <laughs> Honest to goodness. It, People lined up around the blocks just to buy that stamp in 1945. It spawned a war memorial, and it stealed the hope of a nation. Let's talk about why those people didn't get properly identified and what we ended up doing about it.